Chosen ones, empaths, I'm not saying it's going to happen today. I'm not saying it's going to happen to tomorrow, right? I know you might be in deep pain, confusion. You're really going through it now, like real turbulent times. I've been there. I know how it feels, right? But I'm telling you, if you trust in the process of God, you trust in the process of the universe, you allow what's happened to you to be the driving force to propel you forward, right? You take your focus off this dusty weirdo. Take your focus off them. They're not worth your time. They're not worth your energy, right? Naturally, you're going to think about them. Naturally, you will think about them for a long time. You know, some days I still think about the narcissist, right? But it becomes more of a reflection than a rumination and an obsessive thought pattern, right? And I'm telling you that you're going to level up. You're going to level up. And you're going to hit high heights. And when the narcissist finds out, they're going to fall into deep, 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 deep regret. I promise you. Right? Strong-minded people see the sun through the hurricane. Right? And I want you to be strong people. Right? I want you to turn this darkness into light. I promise you that at the end of this tunnel, there's light at the end of it. And it's not a train, right? I promise you that through, just through your everyday living, I know momentarily you may be suffering. I know you are, right? So this video might be something to check back on at a future date, right? But this is a vision into the future of what's going to take place. Trust me. The narcissistic relationship is not the be-all or end-all. It's not the be-all or end-all. It feels that way. You've given your life. Some people have given decades to these people, right? I understand your pain. I totally understand your pain, but it's not wasted. You need to understand that you can look in the mirror and say, I've done everything possible for this relationship to survive. You tried your utmost. You tried to fix it. You tried to solve the problems. You tried to sort out the mess. They just wanted to keep on jumbling it up and jumbling it up and jumbling it up and twisting it and turning it and turning it into other things and escalating a situation and making it a whole load of drama. It wasn't necessary. But you've got to understand, they were blinded. They were blinded by God, right? God makes those wonder blind, right? He blinded them. They know your potential. They know what you are. They know what you can be. And that's why they've tried to smear your name. That's why they've tried to devalue you. That's why they've tried to drag your name through the mud and make you not rise up. But I'm telling you people, rise up. Yeah? It's going to start slow. It's going to start gradual. Right? It may start by you just going for walks in nature. Taking walks, decompressing, releasing those endorphins, in grounding in nature. Just taking walks, right? We have our day jobs. Some of us are working, some of us are not. But during the day, take your time. Even if it's just sitting in your garden, decompress, relax, think. Don't worry, right? Those, those negative thoughts, the constant, the constant force in your mind where they're just there, present all the time, like, a, you know, like, like just digging in your mind. It, it goes, it goes. I promise you it goes, right? And you will eventually get to the point where I'm at. Right? I'm telling you that if there was only me and my ex narcissist on earth, right, and for the sake of humanity to survive, I had to mate with this narcissist. I'm telling you, I'm riding alone. I'm going alone. I'm going to search far, high, and wide and just hope that there's someone else out there. Because I'm telling you, I would never, ever ever go back to that piece of trash they had me for a time we were sent in their lives for a specific time period we were sent in their lives for a specific time period please press the like and the subscribe button help your brother out it'll take two seconds of your time thank you 
But what you've got to understand is there's greater, there's a greater hand at play, the hand of God. You were sent their way for a specific time period. You were not meant to be there forever. And now you're going through the suffering. Now you're going through the pain. Now you're going through the hurt. But those frowns will turn upside down and they'll become smiles again. Right? Those tears will become rejoices in our voices. You will get your strength back. Something's going to come along. Something's going to come your way. Possibly it's a new job that will distract you. Possibly it's a business idea. Possibly it's you writing a book. You're going to do something, right? And that's the stuff I want you to focus on. Because naturally, the, the narcissist has scarred our minds so much and scarred our hearts so much, right? It is a presence that we have to live with for a while. It took me six years to get to the place where I'm at now. I only started delivering this message back in um, January. I think I started the channel, right? And I could have possibly started the channel before that. It didn't take me. I was healed. I'm not, you know, I'm still healing myself, right? I have to admit, I'm still healing myself. I'm healing every day. What I endured and what you endured, trust me, it will take, we'll have to heal from that like, for the rest of our lives. It's abuse. We never forget that abuse. We've been through abuse. That's what you need to remember first and foremost. We have been through dark, dark abuse. So naturally, it's going to dwell in our mind. It's going to dwell in our consciousness. Okay? But it actually becomes the motivation that propels us forward in other areas of our lives. We actually use that energy and it fuels other areas and ignites other things in our life. Are you with me? I hope you're with me. The energy that we put into the narcissist was wasted. It was wasted on them, but it wasn't wasted on ourselves. We done a good deed. We showed our caring, loving, compassionate side. We helped them out. We might have given them a place to stay. We might have given them a roof over their head. We may have provided for them. We may have done X, Y, and Z for them. Yeah? And that is the good thing. We planted seeds. And those fruits will become into fruition in other areas of our life. Karma works in mysterious ways. God witnessed what we've done for this toxic person. God knew the inner dimensions of their mind. God knew how sour and bitter and twisted they were. And God allowed them, allowed us to pour forth our love into them. They had a chance to change. They had a chance to repent. They had a chance to dig their heels in the sand, in the ground, in the mud. Dig their heels in basically and flip turn their way around. And they chose not to. They chose to devalue you. They chose to smear your name. They chose to lie to you. They chose to cheat on you. They chose to do so much painful things towards you. And all you did is show your love, mercy, compassion and kindness to them. But it's not wasted. You will reap what you sow. You've been planted seeds. We're like spiritual farmers. I'm only seeing the fruits which I planted year, a few years back come into fruition now. I'm only seeing what I had done a few years back come back to me now. But you see what they done back then. What they done when they hurt you back then. They're going to face the wrath of that now. They're going to face the wrath of that in the future. And they're going to face the wrath of that through you. Because you're going to level up. And when you level up. And they catch wind of this when they're stalking your social media or they see you in the street. They're going to be in deep, deep, deep regret and they won't believe it. They won't believe how far you've come, how much you've risen up. Yeah, trust me, I'm telling you, the narcissist is going to be in deep regret. You're going to level up to the dimensions beyond the narcissist's comprehension. Right. And trust me, don't let, don't do it for them to find out. Don't think I want them to find out. They will find out. They keep tabs on us. They stalk our social media. We only have to make one, two posts. Believe me, they've seen it. So go silent. Do the groundwork. Focus on other areas of your life. 
Use the energy that you're wasting on a narcissist to build a business. Use the energy you're wasting on a narcissist to write a book. Use the, use the energy you're wasting on a narcissist to start a YouTube channel. Use the energy, put it into your family, put it into your children, put it into anywhere but the narcissist. And I'm telling you, you may not be ready yet. That's why I said you might have to listen to this video again in the future. And you're going to look back and say, wow, he was right. But I'm telling you, this is inevitably going to happen. The things that I've pursued and I've done in my life, like when I started my business, when I've when I done these things, I didn't think I would do that when I was with the narcissist. The narcissist was dragging us down. The narcissist was holding us back. The narcissist saw our potential. They knew what we are and they tried to sh overshadow us. They tried to put their darkness on us. They tried to dig, dig us in the ground. They tried to devalue us, make us not know our worth, make us not know our value. That's what they tried to do. They were sent by the enemy to do that. But God was witnessing it all and God gave them a chance to change through us being kind, loving and compassionate. Right? God gave them a chance to change. They did have a chance. You gave them the chance and it's too late. No more chances. No more time. No more forgiveness. No more second chances. Done deal. It's over. And remember... We always have the final discard. When we go no contact, when we do that door slam, it's game over. And we need to make sure that door slam is completely shut. Do not leave it ajar. Do not leave any entry points for them to get back in. And when you get to this position of power, knowing that if they were the only person left on earth, you would not mate with them. That's when you know you're ready. So anyway, thanks for watching today. Please press the like and subscribe button. If you would like to donate to the channel, you can find the link in the description box. And if you would like a one-to-one -one session as well, you can find the link in the description box. If you want more spiritual-based content, you can head over to my other channel. The link is in the description box. And that will cover more spiritual aspects to help us with our healing and so forth. So anyway, thank you for watching today. I'll be back with another video soon. Peace.